What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to be talking about why you should stop listening to people that don't have what you want. If you guys are new to the channel, we talk about everything from tech, entrepreneurship, startups, coding, all that good stuff here in the channel. So if you guys are into those topics, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me just stay motivated to keep putting this content out for you guys. I have a couple of points that I wanted to bring up because if this is stopping you from starting a business or if this is stopping you from learning to code or change your career transition, like the opinions of other people who haven't done it themselves, then I kind of want to talk about why that mindset is a little bit ridiculous and why it probably is holding you back from being your best or reaching your full potential. The first thing is that other people tend to place their shortcomings or their failures onto you. So these folks who, again, if you're looking to them for some advice or some words of encouragement or for some motivation, or you want them to support what you're doing, you want them to be happy for you and all these things, don't be surprised if they don't do that, if they don't reciprocate the energy that you are giving them, or if they're not being supportive, or if they're saying hurtful things. They could even try to tear you down, like no matter how much effort or proof or time you've put into something, people will always, you know, certain people will always find a reason to just say you're not there yet, or you're not that good, or it's not really that big of a deal. And I think that's why you have to learn who you should and should not listen to. And I think a good rule for that is if the person doesn't have what you want, if they haven't achieved a goal that you're trying to pursue, then don't listen to them. And I mean, I know that could sound a little bit shallow, it could sound a little bit selfish, but this is your life. And you're going to be responsible for the results of your life. So whatever they think, whatever they, whatever their opinion is, whether they think you're not that good, you're not that great, whatever, they're not on the journey. They're not the ones putting in the time. They're not the ones putting in the effort. They're not the ones putting in the energy. So it doesn't really matter whether they approve or they think you're good or you're doing the right thing because they haven't done it. So their opinion has no bearing really, except you know, to you, how you feel about it. So if you internalize other people's feelings and what they say about you and what they think about your life and what you're doing, the road, the path you're taking, then who are you really doing things for? So I think you gotta just keep that in mind that other people will try to, you know, because they failed at something when they tried it once, they tried to start a business or they tried to learn the code one time and it didn't work out. You guys kind of get what I'm saying. If they haven't done it successfully themselves, then their negative energy and words for you could be coming from a lot of different places, bad experiences, their own failures, insecurities. So again, if they don't have what you want and they haven't done it successfully and they don't, they haven't taken a similar path, then I wouldn't so much worry about what those people actually think of you. A next thing that goes hand in hand with that is that I think people often try to put other people down to make themselves feel better. So those same failures and shortcomings that we just talked about, the only way they could cope with that might be to make someone else feel like they're not doing as well as they are. They're afraid of seeing you do something that they were not brave enough or secure enough in themselves to do. So don't let these people stop you guys from feeling like, oh, I shouldn't go to boot camp. This is really expensive. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't started a business before. I don't have any experience. So what? The best entrepreneurs in the world at some point didn't have any experience. The best developers in the world at some point didn't have any experience. So again, it's all just perspective and picking and choosing the right inputs, like who you're listening, who you're listening to, who you're allowing to influence you. The third thing is you have to always ask yourself when people are telling you these negative things or these discouraging things, you really have to stop and think, how do you know? How do you know that this isn't going to work out? How do you know that I'm not equipped to run a business? How do you know that I'm not going to be able to finish boot camp? How do you know that I'm not going to get a job as a developer? How do you know that I'm not going to make the median average salary of what my boot camp says. My boot camp was fifty-two thousand dollars, I believe, was the average um, the average salary of a graduate from my boot camp going into their first job in tech. And I ended up making more than the average. In the beginning, sure, there were people telling me, 
oh you've only been doing this for three months you've only been um you just started going to boot camp you don't have a degree and i ended up making more than my actual goal so all those people who were saying that how did they know that i wasn't going to make that amount of money how did they know that i wasn't going to make a salary how did they know that three months wasn't enough time to get a job with no degree in tech or in software development how do they know any of these things? How do they know that a biz that your business idea isn't going to work? How do they know that you're not equipped to run a business? They, uh, unless they've done it, they have no way of actually knowing whether or not you can do this, that, the other thing. There's absolutely no way unless they have a crystal ball or some premonition or they're psychic. There's just absolutely no way with any certainty that what they are saying it's true they they don't even know if it's true they're just saying it they don't want you to be in the club with the haves and there with the have-nots or the the people who did in the woulda coulda shouldas they don't want to imagine you doing something that they're afraid to try or do so please guys just if this hasn't started kind of becoming repetitive already just understand that most of the time people have no idea what they're talking about the last thing guys is you have to be rejection resistant and that's just my 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 biggest tip if you don't remember anything from this video be rejection resistant because you face rejection multiple times in a day whether you probably know it or not i mean even if it's just smiling at someone that you like walk past in the street and they don't smile back in so many ways like that could be a rejection or you say hi to someone and they don't really say hi back or they just keep it pushing you get rejected in more ways than you probably think on a day-to-day -day basis and it doesn't make or break you if some disappointing moment in time or experience causes you to stop and think and change your strategy then that's a good thing that is how the world's best entrepreneurs that had no experience at some point is how they became who they are today same way with programmers, right? The ones that had no experience at some point and now today they're senior developers is because anytime they went through a disappointment, a failure, or anything like that, they stopped, they assessed where they were. They had to say, what am I doing wrong? Is this working? What, uh, how can I make this better? How can I get around this obstacle? Those are the kind of questions you have to ask and just continue moving towards your goal. If in it, if it takes you around the original path that you thought you were gonna go down, sorry, didn't mean, <laughs> but if this was the original path you thought you were gonna go down and something, some disappointment or obstacle takes you this way, it takes you a little bit longer to go around and get to your goal, that's still fine as long as you keep getting to the goal, right? But if you stop or you take a break or you quit, then you're allowing those people to live your life for you indirectly by just stopping you from doing what you truly desire, what you really want to do, then you'll never actually find out how far you could have gone, how great or big that business could have become. You'll never learn the lessons that you were supposed to learn from that business succeeding or failing. You'll never learn the lessons from trying to learn the code successfully or not. You will never learn about yourself, how you are as a learner, how you pick up new skills, what it's like to change a career, um, you know, how much more money you could have earned, how much you could have made. You'll never find out if you always listen and take the advice of people who have never been there, have never done it, have never been in your shoes. So guys, I really hope that this video was helpful. I just wanted to get that off my chest because like I said, I've actually gone through something today and just in, in very recently where you gotta realize that, you know, it's not even people's fault sometimes. They do these things. They don't even know it sometimes. Um, you know, so don't even take it personally. Just be rejection resistant and just keep pushing towards whatever your goal is, um, whether it's entrepreneurial starting a business or something technical, learn the code, career transition, whatever. I just hope that you guys in 2020 learn to follow yourself, follow that voice inside your own heart, inside your head that you want to do. And if you believe in it, go after it, go do it. So if you guys like this, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like I said earlier, it really helps me to stay motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get back. Um, on those comments and also check out the description box down below because I've got so much free stuff I got the free intro to coding boot camp course It has everything that I wish I would have known going into my coding boot camp So all it costs is your email address you guys will learn front-end stuff and the basics of back-end and you'll make some projects So be sure you ch guys check that out. It's a really great course 
Lastly, make sure you also check out the description box down below for my free Facebook group, my free private Facebook group, where I give away all the resources and extra stuff that I don't put in the description box in my YouTube video. So make sure you guys go get in that group and make sure you get in there and just check out all the resources and collab with all the other people who are in there who are all trying to get better as new or entry level software developers. So yeah guys i know this one might be a little bit long today but i really hope it was valuable let me know what you guys think this is darian with darian the dev and i'll see you guys next video all right peace